Hi guys. So I have finally found time to do another video. Uh, since I've been at Neiman Marcus uh, these last six months, it's been kind of hard to find time between working and traveling. So um, here we are. So since I have been at Neiman's, there are, um, I've got to work with all the great things that uh, Sephora didn't have. And it's Joe Malone, Creed, and of course my favorite, Tom Ford. There's four main fragrances from Tom Ford that when I go into the store, I always put on in some combination, uh, whether it be by itself or blended with something else. And that, of course, is Tobacco Vanille, um, Oud Wood, Noir Noir, and, and Santal Blush. So I usually wear one combination uh, of those. So uh, I've had good luck with the Tobacco Vanille and the Oud Wood, which I'm sure a lot of people have already figured that one out and have done that one. Um, in the fall, Tom Ford's doing a Tobacco Oud. So not sure of the notes that are in it. They haven't let us know that yet. They've just told us that it's coming. So hopefully it'll be some combination of the two of those like what I've been wearing. So definitely I'm looking forward to that. Um, of course, to be a little bit different too. Hopefully they add something to it to make it a little bit different. And um, I also have been wearing Sahara Noir. And sometimes I'll spray that on with the Neroli Portofino. Um, the Neroli I don't like by itself. It's a little too zesty or citrusy to me. I just... There's something about it that just doesn't work by itself for me. But I'll put that on, and then I'll put the Sahara Noir on top, and then it's, it works out really well on my skin. Um, one of the things that I'll show you that um, we got uh, is a lab sample of the Sahara Noir before it came out when they did our training for us at the store. And so they put it in a little lab bottle, and it has a code name to it, um, and it is uh, Golden Tears. So that was the, uh, the code name for Sahara Noir before it came out. I thought that was kind of funny, Golden Tears. So I've used a little bit of it. I mean, I mainly spray on when I go to the store. So, um, But anyhow, that one, the Sahara Noir is, you know, kind of spicy and sensey. It doesn't stay on quite as long as the private blends, but, I mean... It's not bad, of course. It's not priced it like those and as rich as an oil as those are. So it's um, not going to be quite as long lasting as, say, the, the oud wood is. So, but I have had, like I said, I, my, my favorites are the Tom Fords, and I just go keep going to those pretty much all the time. Occasionally I'll wear the Black Vetiver Cafe from Joe Malone. That one's quite nice but I understand they're going to retire that fragrance, so it's like, oh boy, um, <laughs> the one that I liked. And um, I don't wear that much Creed, pretty much Aventus, but I won't wear it at work. Um, and we have Aqua de Parma as well, and I'm just not a fan. Um, if I could get rid of those fragrances, I would. If I didn't have to have them in our store, I'd I would replace them with something else. So, just not a fan of those. I think, I don't know, they just don't have a wow factor for me. Um, but, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, the, Tom, the private blends from Tom Ford, they're first-class fragrances. They're rich in oil. I mean, there's a reason they cost what they do, um, but they stay on all day long. So, I mean, I... And, and they were much easier to sell than I thought they would be. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's a $205 bottle. I was like, you know, how often, how well are these going, you know, do they sell? And they sell very well. I mean, it's very easy to sell those fragrances. And um, I sell a lot of it. And Creed as well. And Joe Malone kind of sells itself. But, um... That's pretty much what I've been doing and what I've been working with recently. And i um, looking forward to the tobacco oud in the fall. Like I said, we think it's going to be October. We haven't got an exact street date for it yet. 
Um, I just hope there's no delay of some sort. Sometimes there's a delay, like uh, Creed is supposed to do an Aventus for Women, and that was going to be out by the end of the year, and now apparently they're saying they're not going to make it by the end of the year because there's an ingredient issue, and Creed's very you know, particular about their ingredients. And if, if it's not right, if it's not ready, they'll put it off or they'll delay it, whatever. So, you know, hopefully that's not going to be the case over at Tom Ford. I haven't heard, like I said, don't have a street date on that yet. But as soon as I find out, I'll probably post it on, on Facebook. So, um, but yep. So that's all I have for you right now. So, um, until next time, um, keep your nose in the air and be aware of all the smells out there. <laughs>